younger lighter. She's agreed to sit down with me. She is, well, she's part of the band, but she is Oh Susanna. And her latest release is called Sleepy Little Sailor. And uh, from it, you just heard King's Road. You're such a wonderful writer. Thank you. I love this album. Do you have any good time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Where is King's Road? You don't mean in London. No, but it is a parallel, you know, thing where I grew up in Vancouver, way out west, 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 out to the, almost at Wreck Beach, and there's a King's Road out there, and it was a very special street. People didn't lock their doors. They were all very communal there, and but it also was the birthplace of the Sex Pistols in London, and so when we were 14, we cut our hair and spiked it up and played Sex Pistols out the door with our speakers on the porch and thought we were really cool because we were on King's Road. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> were the neighbors thrilled then? Oh yeah, they were pretty cool about it. They, they, um, it was a pretty nice neighborhood where they let us do what we needed to do and, and encouraged us. Well, it's but a university would, area. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty spoiled. Were you spoiled? Cushy. Yeah, yeah. Very <laughs> spoiled. <laughs> and now you're living at the Christie Pits. Yeah. How spoiled is that? Not, Not too very. spoiled. No, it's more, uh, it's, a, it's a whole different feel, mm -hmm. Toronto. You moved there when? About three years ago, yeah. Because you, you had to get a, you wanted to Well, I wanted to change because, yeah. I mean, I think I'm a little bit nomadic anyway, and, and uh, it's in my blood. My parents are big moved movers. around a yeah. lot. But then when they settled in Vancouver, you know, they've been here for 30 years. So um, I wanted to move to Toronto because it was more energetic and ambitious and not so laid back as here. So. Yeah. Um, do you have a, another job? You don't keep a, mm -mm. another job anymore? No. Nope. What have you done in but the I past did, to keep body and soul together? I worked in this building in the library because this is where the old library was. This, yeah, that's true. And I was here the opening day and you weren't even no, born then. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, do you know where? Probably right here. I mean, this is the third floor or something. I think I worked on this floor. And this is where all the stockbrokers, well, all, not the stockbrokers, but all the crazy people from the street who wanted to be stockbrokers. Stock or crazy people from the street. <laughs> yeah. Who would read all the stock charts and everything all day long, and I would be, you know, putting yellow dots on things, because that's when they were moving. They were moving all the stuff from stacks over to the new building. And uh, I was thinking, how do I get out of here? I think I'll write some songs. And <laughs> it worked. <laughs> and now you're back in here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Isn't it's a lot nicer now. <laughs> um, you play the piano too? Not really. No. I use. I started out. Uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of a dabbler, and um, when I was a kid, I I would gravitate towards the piano and wanted to play it. And then one day, my parents got a piano, and uh, they said, "Well, now you have to take lessons," which I thought was ridiculous. Why would I take lessons? To <laughs> Learn to play the piano. I don't know. <laughs> Do you wish so I was a really them? bad. Well, I did take lessons. I was just a bad student. Uh huh. And um, and I think that I really just want to make things up. And you are. Yeah. Making things up. I am making all the things time. up. <laughs> yeah, you're a very good singer. Thanks. You're very. Un you have an unusual voice, and you know how uh, in your business people like to pigeonhole you. Yeah. That you sound like, and you sound like this, and so that that's kind of a label on yeah. you. But you don't really sound like anybody else. Yeah. I guess they I must tell I'm you lucky. that. Yeah. Uh, nice. Veda Hilly is a friend of yours. Mm -hmm. Veda Hilly is one of my favorite performers. I know she's brilliant. She is brilliant. Mm -hmm. I wish she'd make lots of money. I know. Well, <laughs> well nobody money. makes lots of money. I know. <laughs> uh, so I just hear that you have this Neil Diamond story. Yeah. And now I have to ask you. Um, well, I. I sang at this wedding in the, as a surprise for the groom, and the groom happened to be Neil Diamond's nephew. And so I got to sing at this wedding where Neil was there. It was, there were only 40 people, and I kept trying to avoid him and not want to talk to him because it was too nerve-wracking to, to talk to this famous person. But after I sang, he came up to me, and he shook my hand, and he said, I can feel your soul when you sing. And then I told my father, and he wanted to punch him out and say, keep your hands to yourself. Uh, keep your hands to Don't you touch my kid's soul. <laughs> your father wanted to punch him out. <laughs> but then, How old are you now? I don't think, yeah, I don't think that the daddies can get away with that. I know now. they can't. No. But, and later on, they made up, and they did the uh, Three Stooges handshake and stuff like that. Cause they, Neil and your father? Yeah. 
What was your, if you were singing at a wedding, oh, you knew the nephew, and that's why I your father the was there? Is this your date? I, oh, yeah, your everybody, father? no, all my whole family was invited because they're, um, my sister's very close with, with this couple. And I see. So we were kind of this surrogate family for. Well, them. that's nice. What'd you sing? Uh, Tangled and Wild and Back to Road from the previous right. album, Johnstown. Um, give me the, no, no, I want to do the, the Three Stooges. Oh, the three, I don't know, something where you go like this and <laughs> up, up <laughs> like this, or, yeah, yeah, something. Like, yeah, I, he was saying you're too young. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you're too young, but I'm not. And then you go yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is... <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> this is such a mature conversation, don't you think? That was Susie Ungerlater. Oh, Susanna is her band, the latest CD, and it's really great, called Sleepy Little Sailor. Yeah, you have to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.